Welcome to Pymol 101 with Molecular Memory. I'm KP, and in this lesson, we'll learn to use color in Pymol. By default, Pymol applies a version of CPK coloring, where oxygen is red, nitrogen is blue, sulfur is yellow, and phosphorus is orange. Sometimes it's useful to override this, especially to look at the overall structure of a macromolecule. We'll also explore transparency in this lesson to make our colors shine through. Let's do this. Phosphofructokinase, PFK for short, is a protein that speeds up a chemical reaction. So it's an enzyme. It's the third enzyme in glycolysis, a 10-step pathway that breaks down the carbohydrate glucose. PFK is cool because it can interconvert between two shapes, or conformations, depending on chemical signals in the cell. One conformation speeds up the reaction more efficiently than the other, allowing this enzyme to act as a main control valve, determining whether we break down carbohydrates for energy, otherwise we can store them or make bigger molecules in biosynthesis. Load the biological assembly of 6PFK in Pymol. File, get PDB, 6PFK, assembly 1. Display the sequence and let's scroll through it. We see breaks in the amino acid sequences, and this is because PFK has four chains of amino acids. It's a multi-chain protein with quaternary structure. This particular structure is the less active form of PFK, and each subunit is bound to PGA. We're not focusing on water molecules in this lesson, so let's hide them. H waters. Let's color the chains to see them easily. In the names panel, click the C button for color. Choose by chain, and then the top choice, this star LMC means we're applying CPK coloring to show the elements. Now, in the sequence, select a PGA and zoom in on it using the A button. Notice the CPK coloring? This orange atom here is phosphorus. Zoom back out using 6PFK to view the whole protein. And I don't want this selection to get in the way of my next steps, so I'm going to go ahead and use the A button to delete it. Let's add a surface rendering. Names panel. S button, surface, to layer a surface rendering on top of the default cartoon. With CPK coloring applied, the surface is busy, detracting from the chain coloring. Surface may be a rendering where CPK coloring is less preferred. Click C, by chain, and select the last choice. This colors each chain a solid color without CPK coloring. Yeah, now we're really highlighting the four chains of PFK. Now let's color by SS, secondary structure. This highlights alpha helices, beta sheets, and areas of the protein without a defined secondary structure called loops. But this rendering isn't super useful with the protein shown as surface, since the bumpy surface obscures the secondary structure. Hide the surface to reveal the cartoon beneath. Now that's cool and very useful. What if we want to show both the secondary structure and the protein surface? We can make the surface semi-transparent to achieve this. Add the surface back using the Show button. Now use the drop-down setting menu. Find Transparency, Surface, and let's go with 60%. Now let's make the surface stand out a little better by changing its color. C, by rep, surface, and let's choose one of the grays. The secondary structure of the multicolor cartoon we see beneath is determined by hydrogen bonds between the amino acid backbone atoms, which are called main chain in the pymole menus. But we can also see the bumpiness of the surface. That's where amino acid side chains are taking up space. Let's add these side chains. Show, side chains, sticks. And we can now see how these fit into the surface. 
The sticks are kind of thick, and the rendering is looking much too busy. So let's hide the sticks. Now let's show lines instead, and color them with CPK coloring. Now choose C by element. Each of these choices, and there are several sets of them, colors by a modified CPK coloring, where we choose the carbon color. Carbons don't have to be gray or black as they are in traditional CPK coloring. Choose either cyan or white carbons from this first set. Cyan is a light blue-green color that's relatively colorblind friendly. When choosing the carbon color, it's important to think about the atoms in your structure. When modeling proteins, we want to avoid colors that are similar to the blue, red, and yellow of CPK, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur, because we find these in amino acids. Next, we'll play with the rendering of PGA. But before we do that, a quick terminology break. We mentioned this is the less active conformation, and PGA helps force the enzyme into this shape because it's an inhibitor. Inhibitors slow or stop an enzyme from performing a chemical reaction, and anything that binds to a protein can be generally called a ligand, or ligand. So the inhibitor is a ligand. Okay, let's try a new representation to get a sense of where the ligands bind to the protein. Using the sequence, select all four PGAs. You can click on each individually in the sequence, or click and drag over all four at once. The letters S-E-L-E -E come up in the Names panel. Next to that, let's click A, Rename, and we'll call these ligands. Now show these as spheres. Remember, show as changes the rendering completely. By contrast, plain old show lets you layer representations on top of each other, like we have with the stick and surface views of the protein. Cool, the location of the ligands is easy to see now. Let's make their carbon atoms contrast the protein a bit more, but still color by element. C by element, and choose one with green carbon atoms. The cartoon is another rendering that can have transparency. Let's hide the lines in surface, go back to cartoon rendering, and apply transparency. This is a good time to use show as. 6PFK, show as cartoon. Notice this command cleared both the lines and the surface, but it also cleared the sphere rendering of the ligand. No problem. That's why we made a selection for the object we're focusing on. Next to ligands, S, spheres, to get the ligand back. Now, setting dropdown, transparency, cartoon, 50%. And now we can see both secondary structure and the location of the ligand. The type of rendering you choose for a model really depends on what you want to show the viewer. It's a good idea to think about this before starting the model, but don't be afraid to play around with the renderings to find the best display possible. Thanks for watching this episode of PyMole 101. Next time, we'll refresh and build on techniques from Lesson 2 to show and label a binding site on PFK. If you're enjoying this series, like, subscribe, and if there's anything specific you'd like to learn, let me know in the comments.